Hello guys, today I will be looking at something more than just that dinky stuff from dollar store I review pretty often. So today we're gonna take a look at this TP-Link 16 port gigabit, gigabit switch with 8 port power over Ethernet. Let's see what other features this thing has. Okay, th this picture on the back of the box will explain us what is, uh, what for example you can do. Because of the power of Ethernet feature, you can actually connect uh, and power your um, devices. For example, iPhone and IP camera, IP phone and IP camera can be powered directly from the port. This port ports can provide about 110 watts to uh, power over Ethernet devices with ability to power up to 30 watt per device which is pretty amazing uh, I, I must say and this would save me for example running extra wires to power some of the devices which are uh, will be remote so it'll be only one wire which is going to be an, an ethernet wire uh, I'm not gonna go into details about all these features because they can be read in the internet let's take a look what this device is and maybe let's take a look what's inside the box Okay, the box is pretty big and hefty, so I assume the device would be pretty big and hefty um, on its own. Um, okay, so we have some documentation, which is the installation guide. We have um, CD and some more papers, which I never gonna look at, maybe. So now we have device over here. It's a pretty big unit and the box closes on me so I understand this is power supply and the brackets I'm gonna remove the box because box is big and bulky luckily device is more compact than I expected I thought this is gonna be like about the size of the box. Let's un unpack it. So um, it's so much uh, nicer when it's a bit smaller here. So what? It, well, how does it look like? So over here on top, or actually in front, we have 16 ports, uh, all bunch of in different indicators and reset button. Um, when you have uh, there, here is indicators about po power. POA max, as I assume that's going to be shown when power of Ethernet max out uh, the power consumption. Then we have different uh, ports corresponding to ports over here, and uh, only these eight have power of Ethernet um, indication based on them. So second row on top, and which corresponds to these eight ports over here. There are some over here on this side we see fan and mounting holes over here. On this side we see uh, just um, ventilation holes. I assume this fan is going to be blowing air through over here and again mounting holes. On the back we have Kensington lock, power, um, power connector and grounding. Over here we have some MAC information and serial numbers. Pretty basic and um, minimalistic and I like it. It's This thing is pretty hefty but I assume this is because it has to have quite a um, beefy power supply. So what we have also over here is obviously power cable which uh, is standard uh, known to everyone uh, which dealing with computer stuff power cord also we have mountain brackets and some uh, rubber feet and some screws which is perfect and I assume this CD is to install software on your computer so this is pretty much it um, uh, what you can say about this device uh, looks pretty simple I like the minimalistic look of it it's pretty heavy so if you're gonna mount it make sure your mounting is uh, decent enough and not and will be holding quite a weight it's probably weighs like a, about three kilogram three kilograms 
so this is it from the review standpoint. Let's uh, another option we can what we can do we can take in order to take a look inside. I turn this beast upside down. Uh, we have only few screws over here. Over here, two over here, and on this side too as well. So. I will quickly unscrew them off the camera. All right, I remove all screws and here we are. Okay, what do we have here? We have power supply, which obviously is supposed to power uh, the device itself and also is supposed to power all that 110 watts for power over Ethernet. So uh, this is the main mains input and it goes to the power supply over here. Power supply seems to be decent quality from what I can tell. I'm not gonna dive into like uh, super details about this power supply by what I but what I see here. It's really hard to tell, but these capacitors looks like they are um, Rubicon capacitors and they are nicely uh, glued uh, with this uh, Celastic. Uh, so this is actually a really good sign. So this power supply means that uh, the quality of this power supply means it's going to last longer. I'd like to know who is manufacturer of power supply, but this is, doesn't really uh, say in details. But what I just noticed over here, it says 53.5 VDC, 2.4 amp. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, is this like, look at this beefy connector over here. This, um, it has four, uh, four wires. Two of them are red, two blue, uh, black. I assume this is actually power which is coming from um, this beefy power supply to the main board. Uh, and if this is actually 53.5 uh, volts, which is very odd uh, voltage, I assume all this uh, business over here would be actually converting these 53 volts into something more uh, like, you know, 5 volts, 12 volts, whatever is required for each of these electronic, uh, active electronic components. Um, so, as I understand, this beefy power uh, heatsink is the actual core or um, the main processor. Over here we have Realtek, I think this is Ethernet controller. From what, I, um, from what I gather, I will look into details on this one, but usually Realtek produces uh, um, Ethernet controllers. There is, if you look uh, over here, there is a whole bunch of unpopulated connectors over here and over here. This is look like a, one, two, three, four, look like a serial port to me, but you know, you never know. All right, I was able to unscrew the power supply. Let's take a look what what's uh, on the other side. All right, this is pretty cool. It has this protection um, plastic uh, glue to it, which is very nice, obviously. This is a uh, nice attention to details. I was actually hoping to see some sort of branding. Maybe this power supply was developed by someone else, but don't really see anything on this side. I don't want to rip this plastic cover off just in order to um, see more details. And it's actually, there is no anything on this other side. Right, there's a whole bunch of uh, other components actually on the other side, mostly microcontrollers and things like that from what I can see. On this side of power supply, uh, you have mostly, mostly power elements like uh, MOSFETs and uh, probably diodes and, and uh, tra transformers. Uh, what I see on this side, there is a whole bunch of protection like MOVs, capacitors and things like that, which is very, very nice and that actually very, very nicely done. Quality of soldering is that, uh, again, it's very nice. It actually really reminds me some of the good power supplies from uh, Meanwell and um, uh, other companies from, uh, from what I can remember. Okay, in order to actually pull it out the main board, I would have to unscrew pretty much everything on this, um, on this chassis. Um, everything, 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 including the fan uh, and even little LED board over here. So let's pull it out. Okay. 
Okay, so now we can remove the move away this case and see what we have or chassis and see what we have here okay so first of all fan this is actually nice 12 volt dc fan um it's sunon brand and I, as far as i know sunon is actually a decent brand or here there is a little daughter board with a rubber uh, kind of a gasket or something which has whole bunch of leds which obviously indicates the status of the um uh each port. Uh, on the other side of LED board, I'm gonna turn everything because it's really, really stiff. Oh, maybe not like this. We have real, real tech uh, controller of some sort, which con uh, which controls all those LEDs. And kind of interesting that this is real tech stuff because I mean this can be pretty much any micro to to do such job. It's nothing. I mean, just just status LEDs. Uh, over here we have main ports, obviously, whole bunch of transformers, which actually um, relay signals from a microcontroller to the Ethernet ports. So this guy RTL eighty two eighteen B is um, is actually eight port. This is uh, eight port or octal port integrated. Uh, uh, 1000 base T gigabit Ethernet transceiver. So I'm kind of wondering uh, why it's only one because it's like eight port. Maybe the other one is over here. Um, okay, actually we need to see what's on other side. On other side, not much going on. Probably mostly like power components on this side because I mean, hence those uh, beefy uh, MOSFETs. But that's pretty much it. I'm really, really curious what is this big guy under heatsink. Not sure if I would be able to actually get there. You know why? Because looks like I was expecting these to be um, screws of some sort, but they just soldered. So what they've done? They've soldered this heatsink. This is crazy. I mean. Guys, it's really crazy to solder the heatsink. Hmm. That's not cool. It's not cool. I'm kind of upset because I really want to know. So, what's really happening? I saw the typical application of this, um, how this um, uh, uh, octal uh, transceiver, uh, Ethernet transceiver is integrated. So, they usually two chips this guy for eight ports and another guy for other eight port and it's um, perform more uh, like um, switching uh, duty so I assume this is two similar devices but this one actually handles power power of other net ports this is only my assumption because obviously I cannot see what's going on here by the way well from notable things uh, this is probably opto opto insulator over here because yeah this is a really nice uh, nice board but now capacitors are not as cool as uh, on power supply board power supply bo boards actually still the show very nice quality this one has some some saxon some some capacitors and um some kind of linon lilon capacitors or something like that some xon and so on and so forth yeah so it's not that cool stuff not as nice as i would like it to have or would like it to be there is some unpopulated business on this side and over here which is obviously i don't know what the hell is uh, that about um curious about these uh pins over here and over here unpopulated there is a reset button so where those four go and where did these four go? Yeah, it's really hard. Don't these four? These uh, clearly for this guy. So yeah, this is highly likely some sort of serial stuff or debug JTAG stuff. And this one either for this microcontroller, which is I highly doubt, or for this uh, well micro controller microprocessor. Uh, so this is pretty much it. We're not gonna dive. There is no way we can dive any further. This is uh, pretty much all we can get out of this device. Um, but what I can tell 
from on my uh, observation that quality inside of this unit is very nice. First of all, attention to details. Everything is nicely celastic. Everything is grounded. All screws are high quality screws and they all have um, washers and things like that. Um, power supply is high quality. Soldering quality is perfect. Obviously, I actually haven't had a chance to operate this device and see how it performs, if it overheats, how it, for example, powers those power of Ethernet, uh, Ethernet devices. But but on first, my first opinion is actually pretty, pretty positive, and it's not uh, was that expensive. So I don't remember how much I really paid, uh, but I won't buy usually expensive stuff. So this is, as far as I remember, it was hundred forty nine dollars or something thereabouts. I got it on sale, by the way. Uh, so. My conclusion, I'll be happy to test this device in uh, re real life scenarios to use some power of the, uh, over uh, Ethernet functions and actually take a look what kind of web UI this thing offers. But so far, uh, let's do a few close-up shots of these uh, electronic components and, you know, not really often you can see this assembled switch, so people might be interested what's inside. So here we are. They will be able either to see my video or take a look at my website on high res photos of insides of this TP-Link 16-port uh, power of Ethernet switch. Ta -da! So I put it back together with magic of video editing. You skip the boring part, but for me it was actually quite enjoyable because when you put together a quite um, um, quality device it's it's actually a pleasure so i am really surprised what i see so inside and i think it's worth it money and i would be happy to uh, use it i hope it's gonna actually work properly uh, so if it's gonna not work properly probably gonna <laughs> make another video explaining the problems and maybe troubleshooting uh, but so far i'm pleased for what i get and got uh, i think this is gonna be it about this um, tp-link uh, power over Ethernet 16 port switch. Um, please leave comment below and if you uh, like my videos please subscribe and see you next time.